What's up guys? My name is John Mark. I'm going to be taking you through a 10 minute resistance training program. Um, we're going to go for strength for today. Uh, basically what that means is that we're not going to be doing anything um, for velocity or quickly. Everything's going to be completed. All the exercises are going to be completed at a tempo um, and a pace that we're just going to try to maintain for the entire 30 seconds. So we're going to complete 10 full exercises, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Um, Going for strength, like I said before, um, today's focus, we're doing abs and back um, for my group. So strength focused, abs and back, 10 exercises, um, and we can just kind of get going on it. Um, to start, we're going to be on swimmers. So you're basically just going to be laying down, face flat onto the ground, um, lifting opposite arms and legs. Um, if it gets to be too difficult, then... Um, you can go a little bit slower. If you want to be a little bit harder, then you can kind of hold that as you're doing it. I'm going to lay down my tummy if you can kind of see me, hopefully. We should go for a nice 30 seconds. Again, if you want to make it a little bit harder, then you can hold that at the top for like five seconds. Make that a little bit more difficult. And once we're done with that, we're going to go into flutter kicks for our core now. Um, hopefully you can still kind of see me. We're a little limited in space, but I'm doing my best. Um, so we're going to lay down on our backs. Um, we're doing flutter kicks with our legs. Um, if you want to make this a little bit easier, you can sit up and do it just like this. If that's too easy for you, then we can lay all the way down and start to do it this way. So same thing, we're going to go for about 30 seconds on this one. And after this one, we're going to go into bent over rows. So it's probably about 30 seconds. Good. Now we're done with that one. One to our bent over rows. Um, we're just going to hinge at the waist right here. And we're just going to take our arms and pull up. Just like that, pulling our shoulder blades together. Nice and steady. I know I don't have any free weights right now, but if you want to make it a little bit harder, then you can absolutely use weights or bands, um, or you can just use your body weight as well. Good. And just making sure you're pulling those elbows straight to your rib cage. Elbows are staying in and closed. We don't want to see those elbows go out. We want to keep them nice and tucked. Good and done. Now we're going to go into our press ups. Um, Press ups are pretty much, it can be like a shoulder press, military press, anything like that. But you're just taking our hands, feet, nice shoulder width, slight bend, nice and balanced. And we're just going to praise, press up and over our heads. So again, I'm not using any free weights or bands. If you want to make it harder, by all means, you can do that. If this is too difficult, then you can always just go slower and halfway right here. And then back down. You can also just go at a slower pace. So up and right here, right? Because we're going for strength. So whatever pace you start with, we just want to try to maintain that throughout the whole exercise. Good. Now we're done with our press-ups. So we're going to go on to our RDLs, Romanian deadlifts. So this one, we're just going to hinge at the waist right here. Whatever bend you start with in your legs, we're going to keep that. And we're hinging at the waist all the way down and pulling back up. Nice and controlled. Same thing, if you want to make this harder, add free weights or resistance bands. Just try to keep that same pace all the way through the entire 30 seconds of this exercise. Good. Making sure you keep your chest up as well, eyes up. We don't want to drop our head too far whenever we're doing these. We're going to make sure our chest and eyes are up as we're doing them. And after this one, we're going to go into planks. Um, we're going to go hands down plank today. Um, if you don't like that one, you can go elbows as well. Either way, totally up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. Just make sure that your hands are underneath your shoulders. We don't want those to be too wide or too narrow. You just want those to be right underneath your shoulders. Make sure you control your breathing as best you can as you're doing these. 
keeping that back nice and flat. We don't want to see too much of an arch or too much of a droop either. Nice and flat and keep it right there. If this is too hard, you can always go down to your knees and hold it right here. Do a plank from your knees, that'll make it a little bit easier. And if you want to make it harder, you can go a slight bend in your arms. You can go closer with your hands or you can even add a weight onto your back as well. And that's about 30 seconds on that one. Next one that we're gonna be doing is standing rows. So we've already done bent over rows, now it's just standing, right? So um, same thing, you can use weights or bands, whatever you want to for this. I'm getting a little hot now. Um, arms reach out, and we're just gonna pull straight into our body. Same thing, we want to make sure that our elbows aren't flaring out. We want to make sure they stay nice and tucked and close to our body with these. And you can use your free weights or you can use your bands as well. Whatever it is that you would like to do. But same thing, make sure whatever pace of the exercise you start out with, you try to stay with the entire 30 seconds that we're doing it. Pulling those hands nice and close to your rib cage. Good. Then we'll rest after that. Next one that we've got is Supermans. So we've already done swimmers. Supermans are going to be a lot like the swimmers. Um, we're just going to be more of a isometric hold. Um, so we're not going to be doing opposites. It's going to be both arms and legs together at the same time. So I'm going to lay face down on my stomach. Um, if that's too hard for you. Um, you can always lay down a mat, you can lay down a pillow, something that's more comfortable, rather than the hard floor like I'm using right now, it's not very comfortable. But we're gonna go ahead and get started on this one. So you're laying your back nice and flat, and going up, we're just gonna try to hold that right there. If it's too hard, you can do repetitions. So come down and back up, and then back down. And that's one way that you can definitely make it easier. If you wanna make it harder, then try to pick those hands higher up into the air and your legs higher up in the air as well and that's probably about 30 seconds on that one so now we've got crunches so there's gonna be a different couple couple different ways that we can do the crunches um, you can do alternating sides you can go straight up um, and then if you want to make it easier um, you can add in a little pad behind your back so it elevates your back so you don't have to pull as farther with each crunch that you do. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up there. Ah, laying down. Legs are bent right here. And hands are behind my head. Or my ears. Just make sure they're behind your head. And I'm going up to a quarter. Coming right back down. You're just trying to get those shoulder blades up and off the ground. And that's really about it whenever you're doing it. If you want to make it harder, you can go alternating, like I was talking about earlier. You know, point the opposite elbow to that knee. So it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a twist with the crunch. Good. And then the same thing with all these core exercises. You want to make sure you're controlling your breathing as much as you can. Whatever pace you start with for the exercise. Try to keep that same pace and intensity all the way through the entire 30 seconds. And that's probably about it right there. And rest. Well, I'm going to come back up. we got a little bit of a break for a second before we go into our last exercise, which is going to be our leg raises. Um, leg raises are going to be relatively simple. Um, we're just going to be laying flat on our back, picking both of our legs up together all the way up. Um, just about halfway, so it's straight up and down, vertical in the air. That's really it. Control your breathing, keep your core tight. Um, if you want to make it easier, you can always put your hands under your butt. Um, it's a little bit harder if you keep them outside of it, um, but if you use your hands under your butt, it's kind of helping yourself um, with getting your legs back up and controlling it. Um, so you can make it easier or harder either way right there with it. Um, also with how Fast you go for one. If you go faster with the reps, it's going to make it harder. Um, and if you go all the way down and all the way back up, that's going to make it harder too. So if you want to make it a little bit easier, you don't have to go all the way up. You can just go as much as you want to and then lower back down as well. 
So we're gonna go ahead and start it on this last one now. I'm laying flat on my back. Legs are straight. Hands are just flat on the ground next to me. Pulling those legs up. Last core exercise right here. Make sure you control my breathing as much as you can. Keeping those legs straight. That's one other thing to make it a little bit easier. Right now my legs are pretty straight. If you wanna make it easier, you can bend your knees just a little bit. And that's gonna to help to make it a little bit easier as well. And then if you wanna make it harder, legs straight. And relax. That's gonna be about it. That's all that we have for the exercises. Um, so we had 10 total exercises that we did for 30 seconds each for our abs and our back. We did our swimmers, flutter kicks, bent over rows, press ups, RDLs, planks, crunches, standing rows. So rather than being bent over, we're just pulling right here. Um, leg raises and then supermans. Um, and that's gonna be it for this resistance training program for today.